Number 38. Calculate the molality of each of the following solutions. And then we have letter B. So in this case, we have 0 0.86 grams of NaCl, which is in 1.00 times 10 to the second grams of water, a solution of sodium chloride for intravenous injection. So electrolyte IV, basically, when, you know, you go to the hospital. Um, but anyway, sure, let's find the molality. Now, there's only one formula for molality, and that is this formula right here. Molality equals moles of a solute divided by kilograms of the solvent. And just know that anytime that you start seeing little squiggly M's being thrown around, that's the universal sign for molality. Capital M is molarity, with the R in there. Molality is this little italicized M. But anyway, we need to know what the solute is and what the solvent is. Now we can kind of gauge this by looking at the wording of how they talked about the NaCl with the water. And keep in mind that water is H2O. Um, now, if we count up the total number of letters of solute, that's six letters. If we count up the total number of solvent, that's seven letters. So you can use this as a little trick. The smaller one always gets placed in the bigger one. So if they're reading it as 0.86 grams of NaCl is in the water, that means that the NaCl was the solute. Generally, it's going to be the solid amount that is being placed into the water, which is the solvent. So now we know what component goes on the top and what component goes on the bottom. For the solute, we need moles. But uh-oh, they gave us grams. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert the 0.86 grams of NaCl into moles of NaCl. Well, how am I going to do that? Back to basics. Grams of any substance... If you want to go to moles of that same substance, all you got to do is divide by the molar mass. Go on that periodic table, find out what the molar mass is of NaCl. Na is 22.99 plus chlorine, which is what, 35.45? So 22.99 plus 35.45, I get 58.44. So I'm going to take the 0.86 and divide it by the 58.44. There we go. And I get 0 0.0147. Sure. Okay. Top part is done. Now let's get the kilograms of the solvent. They gave us 1.00 times 10 to the second grams of the water. So I gotta go to kilograms of H2O. Grams to kilograms, that is dividing by 1,000. Now we can take this number out of scientific notation, right? This two means that technically I take the decimal and I move it twice to the right. So this is the same thing as saying 100 grams. But now if I'm dividing it by 1,000, I take the decimal and I move it to the left three times. So this would be the same as 0 0.100 kilograms. And now since we got the moles, we got the kilograms, we can now just plug it in. Molarity, sorry, it's just a habit. Nine times out of 10, you're always going to be using molarity. And if you've been with us, there's tons of questions on this channel that is molarity-based. Uh, this is the only chapter that is really molality-based. But anyway, uh, 0, 0.0, up oh, there goes my voice again. <laughs> it's, always, it's always nice when you never know. You never know when my voice is going to go. It's a surprise. <laughs> but we just got to keep trucking along. So in this case, I'm going to take this number and divide it by 0.1. And voila, we have 0 point, 
uh, one five. Technically, we are only allowed to use two sig figs. So 0.15 and the units for molality, you could just put that little squiggly at the end and that's the answer. Okay, what'd you think? I hope this helped out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for viewing the video. Uh, thanks for being part of the community and to you know show you how grateful we are, check out the description. There's tons of goodies down there uh, for you guys to enjoy. So you could share with your friends, uh, your classmates, uh, we just want to get the word out there that this, um, you know, this channel can help you out. We got study guides, so thank you so much. We really do appreciate you, and thanks for coming to the channel. Always keep learning. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.